Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Alan Burgos from the Hashtag Walk With Love channel. Welcome and welcome back to our channel. Friends, if you are not yet subscribed to our channel, please do it so now so that we can be able to maintain and sustain this channel. And aside from that, you will be a part of this growing family. We are now officially uh, 6,661 subscribers and we are very glad and grateful to you guys and God bless you all. Today, uh, we will not be talking about politics, okay? We will not be talking about politics, but instead, we will be talking about about. Uh, cyber security. No? So we call this as a cyber security 101 series or cyber security no? uh, video or videos, a part of the uh, playlist or series for that matter. No? So we entitled this as protecting your digital world. Okay. So we all know that um, we all know that we are in two digital worlds. No? We are interconnected with each other. Okay. Yeah, we are interconnected with each other and uh, and we cannot be able to afford not to connect to the internet because we are interconnected and we are dealing with lots of people using this internet. Okay? So now but we consider ourselves as digital warriors, no? Uh we empower um we empower ourselves to navigate, no? Um navigate this data or these connections or this connectivity uh quite securely, no? Because we cannot be able to ask for help if that is needed already. Okay? Now, we have um uh in today's um episode, we will be tackling about uh how can we be able to help ourselves to secure, no? To secure our connectivity no, to the outside world, okay? Now, first thing first, okay, the first thing that we need to do, okay, is for us to have a strong password, okay? A strong passwords. It, it means to say that our passwords should be a mix up of not only uh, a character, uh, it, it, it's not only characters, but also a mix up of uppercase and lowercase letters or or characters okay now um it includes as well the numbers okay now and of course uh nowadays uh, we should be also uh using um special characters so meaning to say meaning to say guys it's a combination of these characters okay special numbers and of course letters now yung letters na yon, it should be uppercase and and lowercase okay now it it is evolving right now no because some of the applications are suggesting combination of passwords or strong passwords but we need to be careful on that also but what if that particular application or that particular company has been hacked has been attacked okay has been compromised so meaning to say what they would suggest is a compromised password already Okay. Now, uh, do not use passwords that is quite easily guessable. So for instance, you know, part of it is your birthday, part of it is your name, part of it is your uh, your family name, etc. No. So do not include that. Okay. Now, uh, yeah, something something like that. No. So it should be. Uh, and then uh, um, there should be no reused passwords also. Okay. Now, do not. Give your password to others because consider a password as a toothbrush. No? You would not lend your toothbrush or give that toothbrush to others for them to use. The same thing with password. Okay. Now, the next one is two-factor authentication. Okay. Now, in 2FA, or maybe we can exaggerate, no? we can have multi-factor authentication. No? Some of the social media apps that we have for today, no, for um in the present time they are using this one no maybe it's a matter of you setting it up or they uh, adjust that on the settings but of course these tech companies man, are require um are are um i don't know um <clears throat> are are having uh they believe no they believe on our privacy rights no they subscribe to that, to that idea okay so um this is another layer of defense no 
by setting it up or enabling our two-factor authentication or the multi-factor authentication wherever and whenever possible. No? Now, um, this particular layer adds an extra shield or extra step for uh, for our accounts to be secured enough. No? So requiring a second step for verification. No? Because if the first step has been compromised, so definitely there should be... Um, one way no for that to be verified no so one instance is the otp yung otp natin is yung one time password okay it will be sent to our email address or to our mobile phone no that you um are holding that you are holding yeah. for example this one okay something like that that is two factor authentication okay the, the, the next one the number three is, of course, this is quite cliche already, keep your software updated, okay? Now, oh, not only the apps, no? okay, but also the operating systems, uh, software, software in general, no? Okay, operating systems and applications, okay? So, and then, of course, we should be able to be vigilant, no? To um, yung drop reach by keeping all our softwares updated. Okay, not only the the applications, but also of the operating systems and also of the antivirus programs. Just imagine eh, if the antivirus programs is not yet updated. Okay, definitely those uh, uh, those viruses that would um try to be infiltrated on your on your system. Okay, would not be able to be detected by the antivirus because it's not being uh updated. Okay, now. Okay. Now, um, sometimes uh, um, this uh, these updates would patch uh, some vulnerabilities or weaknesses of that current system. Okay. Now, number four is secure Wi-Fi networks. The first thing that you need to change is the default password of your Wi-Fi. Okay. So that your neighbors would not be able to to check on it and share your devices or share share the, the Wi-Fi connection. So, okay. So protect your digital no um digital assets no by securing your wifi network no so again we will be going back to that no? um we need to set a strong password no use wpa3 encryption and regularly change your uh, wifi password from time to time maybe every, every month or every uh, uh twice a month it's up to you but you should be able to change these passwords. Okay. Now, this ensures that not only the trusted devices have access to your kingdom or to your Wi-Fi. Okay. Para ano naman, no? You can be able to protect it. All right. Number five is be wary of phishing attacks. No. So you know. So watch out of those um um those uh those attacks. No. Yung especially yung phishing attacks. No. So be skeptical. When, when when we say skeptics or skeptical, you do not believe right away. You just need to um investigate, okay? And then, ano, but what 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 does it mean by skeptics? You skeptics about yung unsolicited unsolicited emails natin or or messages. Uh, don't click on suspicious links or download attachments from unknown sources. Phishing attempts are often disguised as friendly messages. Messengers, no, me messages, no, parang oh, it's like it looks like legit, but in reality, it is not. It is just uh tricking you, no, to give some information on it, no, okay, uh, trying to preach or um in a way para social engineering then, eh? try to trick you uh to breach your defenses against it, okay. Number six, no, back up your data, no. This is the best tool, okay, or best strategy for us to fight the ransomware because in ransomware okay once you are being hacked okay it is being encrypted and then uh, there is no way for you to to decrypt it because you do not have the decryption key no so they will just be uh, giving you um the decryption key unless otherwise you will pay them no okay so back up those important files or documents or else you will lose everything no and then lastly but uh, last but not the least the privacy settings. Now, from time to time, you need to visit your the privacy settings of Facebook, of of Google, etc. Now, all of these things are uh, they have their security and privacy settings, and you need to set it up so that you can be able to be protected. No, you review that from time to time. No, and then of course the other platforms also. No, this remember this is your control. No, control who has access 
to your information and be mindful of what you share. Okay? There you have it. No? Fellow guardians, no? Uh, fellow guardians or fellow uh, cyber warriors. Okay? So, thank you guys. Now, if you found or this vlog helpful, okay, do not forget to like, share, and of course, subscribe, okay, for more digital wisdom. So, until next time, stay secure and keep conquering the digital world. Signing off from hashtag Walk with Land channel. This is Alan Burgos. Have a great day and God bless you all.